Hi, I'm Ms. Haley with the Huntsville Madison County Public Library, and today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple STEM toy. It is an energy toy that looks like this and takes advantage of kinetic and potential energy, and we're going to talk a little bit about that today. First, I'm going to show you how my toy works. You're going to set it on the table, press it down, pull your straw down, and let go, and it springs up. So to do that, it has to use energy. Energy is the ability for something to do work, and work can be as simple as moving. And today, our, our topic really fits into physics, which is the scientific study of matter, its movement, its behavior, its composition. We are particularly concerned with movement today. And energy can be classified into a lot of different types. So today we're talking about kinetic and potential energy. We're also using elastic energy since we are using rubber bands, which stretch, and that is an elastic um, movement. But there's all different kinds. There's electric, magnetic, gravitational, chemical, thermal. There's a lot of different types. I have by no means named them all. But today, like I said, we're talking about kinetic potential and elastic energy. And energy can be converted from one form to another. But it's never lost. There's always potential energy. So just holding this rubber band here in my hand, that's potential energy. When I stretch it, that's potential energy. But when I let it go and it starts to move, that's kinetic energy. So what you'll need for your craft today is a pair of scissors, a wooden dowel or skewer. I'm using a skewer, a bamboo skewer, and you want it to be big enough to fit into your other material that you need, which is a straw. So you want the dowel to be able to fit through the straw easily. You don't want it to be super tight. That needs to be a pretty easy fit. You need some rubber bands. Really, you just need one rubber band. And you need some tape. I'm using duct tape today. I'm gonna go ahead and get myself a piece because duct tape is super duper sticky and I've already had problems getting my toy to work because the rubber band wants to slip out from under that tape. So that's something to just keep in mind and that's something that, since this is a STEM activity, I challenge you guys to improve upon. If you look at my toy now that I've stretched it, my straw is a little broken here. Get that where you can see it. My straw is a little broken and my rubber band, you can see it's, it's weirdly stretching out here and that's because it's pulled itself out from under the tape. So I challenge you guys to improve this design. But first I'm gonna show you how to make the basic energy toy. We're gonna to start with our dowel and our scissors. And you're not actually gonna cut through this dowel. We just wanna get the pointy end off. We don't want um, a sharp pointy end. It's not a good idea to bounce around a sharp pointy end. It doesn't end well. So I'm just going to use my scissors down at the crook of the scissors and I'm gonna just squeeze and turn my dowel and squeeze and turn until I have this little score mark around it. And then I'm just going to break my dowel apart a little bit. I'm gonna score that a little bit better. There we go. Just so that I have a blunt end there instead of a pointy one. We don't want a pointy end. We're gonna use that to be our end um, of, our, of our toy. That's gonna to be the bottom. So now you're gonna take your straw and you are gonna cut it in half. And you can discard the other half, you can keep it, you can make a second toy. I don't know how the bendy part would really affect it, but that's another thing you can play with as, this, as a STEM activity. You can experiment with the design and maybe use the bendy part of the straw. Maybe that would make a difference if it's not bent or if it's stretched out. That's something to play around with. So now you're going to take your tape and you are going to take your rubber band. You're gonna put it around the end of your skewer. Oops, I'm out of the camera, there you go. So that it's just around the top of your skewer and you're gonna tape it down. And you wanna tape it down really good. You wanna really get around there and make it tight. So you can see I'm, I'm kind of stretching my tape around here a little bit as I do this. You want it nice and tight, you don't want that to go anywhere. And I'm gonna press a little bit just to make sure we're sealed well. Now you're gonna take your straw, you're going to slide it up your dowel. 
all the way up to the tape. And so your rubber band's gonna be kind of sitting on top of your straw, like that. So now you're gonna hold your rubber band down and your dowel down, or your straw down, so that your rubber band is on either side of your straw. And you're going to take your other piece of tape and we're gonna tape the rubber band to the straw. And I like to do this a little bit at a time so that I can super duper make sure, and I'm using my fingernail to seal it around that tape, or the tape around that rubber band. And you're gonna wrap it around. And again, you wanna pull it super duper tight, not so tight that you're squishing the straw, because we do want the straw to move, but super tight. And that way, hopefully, your rubber band won't be scooching out the top quite so easily. It's probably gonna do it a little bit. And voila, you have your energy toy. Like I said, super duper easy and simple. So again, I'm gonna show you one more time how to work your toy. So you stand your toy up so that the end of your dowel is pressing down on the table. You take your straw and you slide it down the dowel the more you slide it, the more energy you build, but you want to be careful. You don't break your rubber band, and then you let go, and hopefully it jumps. Now, mine definitely did it, and I'm really bad at this, but you have to practice a little bit to get a good jump. It takes a couple tries, and I'm just really not as good at it, but I got it eventually. So make sure you practice it and have fun, and try to improve that design. Thank you, guys.